Hey everyone, we're talking NFL Championship Weekend, Championship Sunday, AFC, NFC, up for grabs to go to the Super Bowl here in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks, and we're going to be talking about the early game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, just a quick note, we have not lost a uh, card in the NFL postseason. Uh, we are crushing it with NFL props. These are facts, this isn't fiction. We went unbeaten 6-0 and last weekend in prop cards. For a $100 player, our prop cards in the postseason have profited $3,040. We've hit a 8-unit game of the year and a 7-unit game of the year in the postseason in the last two weeks, both of them on the Kansas City Chiefs, which I took a lot of heat for. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we're rolling. We got a 6-unit top play. I'm only involved in totals and a teaser this weekend. We have a 6-unit top play with a, a one of our totals. Doc Sports is where you go get them. Link in the description below. Free 60 bucks, upper left-hand tab corner of the website. Park 60 bucks in any new account. Get yourself hooked up with a football package and a prop package on Sunday. We'll have a seven-unit top play prop. Prop card's already written up. I'm just watching the lines move. That's the best way to bet these games. Have no illusions. I'm telling you that I don't care whether you buy a package or not. I'm telling you, as a 32-year veteran handicapper, the prop bets market for these games it can be very fruitful. FYI, because anything can happen in any of these games. Nobody is here by accident. Nobody. Specifically, let's talk about Kansas City. Kansas City is either getting three and a half or four, depending on your outlet. The total is 44, 44 and a half. It's going to be a rainy day. Up in Baltimore, about about 45, 48 degrees, which is more than respectable for the East Coast this time of year. That said, last couple of weeks I took a lot of heat. Most of you that follow me know I'm originally from Lincoln, Nebraska, which is three hours north of Kansas City. And you grow up a Husker fan, obviously, first and foremost. And then you're a Chiefs and Royals fan. That's the closest major market, and uh, I've been a Chiefs fan for 50 years. Everybody thought I was doing homer picks. I took Kansas City the last two weeks because Kansas City was the better team. In one case, they were getting points. We'll talk about the Ravens in a minute. Kansas City is better than Miami. Kansas City's quarterback's better than Miami's quarterback. Kansas City's head coach is vastly better than Miami's head coach. Kansas City was at home. It was 25 degrees, degrees below zero. Playing a team for South Florida who was missing, what, six starters on defense? No brainer. No brainer. And it's Patrick Mahomes. There's a reason that Kansas City's been to six straight AFC championship games. They have the best quarterback in football. He's won five straight division titles as a starter. Kansas City's won eight of them in a row, but he's won five. He has no more than, what, four or five losses against any division team in his career. He's got two Super Bowl rings, three AFC championship rings. You switch gears to Buffalo. They're the better team. What's Buffalo and Miami done all year long in big moments? Failed. What's Buffalo done since Josh Allen's been there in big moments? Failed. Andy Reid versus McDermott in the head coaching category? Not even close. You know, Kansas City is not going to go quietly in the night. Not with their resume. They've been here and done it. Baltimore has it. Been a long time since Baltimore's been in this spot. But there's a reason that they're laying four points. Three and a half, four. I don't see it going down. They're the best team in football. You know, this falls under the category of Mike Lee, my mentor, who you old-timers know who Mike Lee was. Uh, you young bucks have absolutely zero clue. You know, but he, he brought me up through the ranks in the 90s and early 2000s, and uh, he told me something. I've, I've mentioned it many times. When it comes to the NFL postseason, especially the big games, he goes, you take the best team and you bet it, you don't even look at the spread. Just bet them. They're going to cover 75% of the time. 
Now, that worked a lot better back in the old days in the 90s and early 2000s than it does now because there's a lot more parity with free agency and everything else that's going on. But um, that holds true today. I've got Buffalo ranked number one in football, or pardon me, Baltimore ranked number one in football. I've got Kansas City number four behind San Francisco and Detroit. Um, could they beat Detroit on a neutral field? Maybe. Uh, but they got beat by Detroit this year. And if you take a look at the body of work, really, you have to take a look at the body of work. Kansas City has skated by in some games, struggling on offense. Outside of Rice, a very talented, talent-depleted wide receiver unit. Kelsey, arguably the best tight end in football, but with the depleted wide receiver unit, he's drawn a lot of double teams this year, and he just hasn't been able to shake loose. And he's, you know, over the age of 32 or 33 now, whatever he is. You know, he's just not the same player he was five years ago. He's still damn good. Stop three tight end in the league. Don't get me wrong. You know, I don't care who he's dating. <coughs> uh, Kansas City can run the football here. Now, Baltimore, Kansas City is going to be able to run the football too. Um, you take a – you throw out last week's game against Houston – and you look at the ground yards against Baltimore their last five games. They gave it up, as good as their defense is. But unlike Miami and Buffalo, both even have having five or six starters out on defense, you know, the Ravens are pretty much at full strength, depending on what their safety Humphreys is going to be this game. But they're very good. They're at home. Lamar Jackson – you take a look at their body of work. You know, Kansas City lost games against Philadelphia at home. You know, Denver. I mean, Kansas City just not had that dominant, you know, tier one football team they've had the past five years to get to this point. They have the best defense they've ever had with Patrick Mahomes at the helm. This is his best defense by far. And it's a shame that they're just limited. Also, the injury to Tunney on the offensive line with a torn pec or a strain pec or whatever, if anybody has ever had a pectoral muscle tear, you know the pain involved with that. I mean, it ruined J.J. Watt's career. Never was the same. Nonetheless, if he's out, big advantage for Baltimore. Huge. They swarm tackle. They get after the football. They got great lateral speed at linebacker. Uh, they got safeties and cornerbacks that'll break up on the ball on the run and put a lid on you. They're very well coached. There is not a coaching mismatch in this game for Andy Reid. Uh, matter of fact, uh, you know, Harbaugh coached under him for, what, five or six years at Philadelphia when he was at Philly. I mean, they're friends, and they know each other well, and they both know they're both great coaches. You know, but there's no coaching mismatch here. You have a home field advantage for Baltimore. And I think they're a touchdown better in Kansas City in this game. Lamar Jackson is, um, while they're playing the reigning Super Bowl champions and the reigning league MVP quarterback, um, which will tell you that Kansas City will not go quietly in the night here. The, if they did, it really surprised me. Just because they've been there, done it, bought the t-shirt factory, no moment is too big for Patrick Mahomes ever. You know, they make plays. Andy Reid knows how to call a game. You know, Spagnola, you know, uh, is a good defensive coordinator. Um, he likes to blitz a lot. You, If, if they want to blitz Lamar Jackson in this game like Spags likes to do, they're going to get crushed. And Andy Reid and Steve Spagnola are smart enough that if I know that, now, I'm just a guy pitching picks online for a living. These guys are making millions of dollars a year coaching a team. I think they probably already figured that out. Because if you blitz Lamar, he'll take off running. He'll have 150 yards on him. I think he's going to do some damage against Kansas City. And Kansas City is very difficult to pass on. Um, he's going to have to do it with his legs. He probably will. He's a very talented cat. Um. You know, this particular year, he's MVP guy. And uh, this is a really good football team. The difference between Kansas City and Baltimore, I just think, is a body of work in general. Baltimore has taken good teams 
in here and on the road and just put them over their knee and beat the dog piss out of them. And I, I don't think that's going to happen here, but I just think the, you know, the sum of all parts, if you look at both these teams and consider the season long results and this, that, and the other, um, other than the Colts debacle in here earlier in the season when, you know, Tucker missed a field goal, which never happens. Uh, by the way, you have two really good field goal kickers in this game. I'd be taking over props on both of them for field goals made. Hello. Hint. Give me the Ravens. But they're just the better team. I think they're the best team in the NFL. And they're at home. And Kansas City just is not as strong as they have been in past year's editions. It's not like they're a crappy football team. They're no slouch, but Ravens get them by a touchdown here, in my opinion. Free play. Over at the website, and be sure and follow me on Twitter. I'll be putting out some some nice uh, bets and prop bets over the weekend for you for free that you won't get on YouTube at T George Sports. Okay, quickly, tune in every Friday. Uh, Doc Sports, Hoops Happy Hour with myself and Griff Murphins up every Friday. We're breaking down the biggest games of the of the weekend in college of pro basketball, new show. Uh, we'll be back for the Great Iron Six Pack, the week of the Super Bowl, prop edition. So we'll re we're going to revise that one more time this year in a couple of weeks, the week of the Super Bowl. We'll do that on a uh, Wednesday for you, or the Wednesday before the Super Bowl. So we'll have one more Great Iron Six Pack. That show went 65% over 100 game sample size this year. Over at Docs, as I mentioned, we got a six-unit top play. We have not lost a card in the postseason. We have not lost a top pick in the postseason. We'll have a six-play prop card with a seven-unit top play on it on, on uh, Sunday as well. Get on it. We're on a 25-12 and 12 run in college basketball, a 20-10 and 10 run in the NBA, and a 17 or 18-9 and 9 run in the NHL. Doc Sports, that's where you go get the winners. Thumbs up, subscribe. Enjoy your NFL championship weekend. Uh, by the way, Mrs. George is out pacing in the hallway, just ready to just absolutely beat the hell out of me for going against her beloved Chiefs. Sorry, honey. Got to take the best team. It's business.